the music of Chopin, Schumann, Mozart, Albéniz, and Beethoven were played during a piano concert offered by Monsignor Lorenzo Baldizzeri at the Brazilian Embassy to the Holy See, and the music was very much enjoyed by the public. The piano keeps me company. I remember that Nelson Freire, a great pianist, once said, I play the piano and I know if it likes me or not. It's a bit like that. In 1991, I bought one and this is the one that accompanies me from Paraguay to India, from India to Brazil, and now in Rome. Monsignor Baldizzeri comes from a musical family. His father played the piano and guitar, and his brother is also a priest and a musician. During his youth, he sang and was often referred to as a gifted child with a pure voice. He even recorded an album. Beauty definitely elevates the spirit. I am sure that all artists have this dimension they cannot escape. They may be agnostic in the sense that they don't have a chosen religion, but they have God within them. His favorite is Chopin, whom he describes as a poet of the piano. In his case, music and solidarity go hand in hand. When he served as an apostolic nuncio in Brazil, he had the chance to give a piano concert with many children from one of the poorest slums in Rio. He says that musical experience forever changed the children as well as him. It's extraordinary because children that touch a piano, they redeem themselves. They become children who can lead a good life, grow up and educate themselves without drugs or violence. Music is effectively an extraordinary educational tool. For about a year now, Baldizzeri has served as a secretary for the Congregation of Bishops, which is the body in charge of selecting new bishops, organizing ad limina visits, and creating new dioceses. He also has extensive diplomatic experience. He has served as an apostolic nuncio for Haiti, Paraguay, India, Nepal, and Brazil. But wherever he goes, his music travels along with him.